ureter both these ducts are connected to a common chamber which is bit thick and muscular this is called as urinary bladder in this urinary bladder temporary the urine is stored when it reach to 100 to 120 ml of urine then the involuntary action starts and we feel the sensation of passing that urine when it is reaching to 100 above the ml this is a small duct which we call it as urethra urethra is that duct which is going its outwards as a opening both kidneys which we will see that these both kidneys are connected to back side to our dorsal body wall cavity they are present in abdominal cavity but they are connected to the dorsal wall that is the reason that dorsal that lumbar lumbar area or the lumbar vertebra both sides this is the sides which are not protected by anything so slightly you can find your kidney is covered by that your pelvic bones are giving uh, support for that and half of that will be directly present in that abdominal cavity and connected to the dorsal region so this is our that just uh, external structure of kidneys now let us see that our lab activity where we are going to dissect the kidney and going to study that kidneys part now let us see this lab activity of excretory system here we can see these are the one pair of kidneys of goat for demonstrating the kidney structure internally and external structure now you can have a look on this the external features that i have arranged the kidneys in such a manner that one is in the lower side and one is in that upper side so our kidneys are also located like that our right kidney right hand side kidney is towards bit lower and left hand side is there that is towards bit up the shape of the kidney if we will see external features of this it is bean shape color dark and it is reddish brown in color and they are located in the abdominal cavity and attached to the back side of that our body wall and both side of backbone they are present backbone in the middle and both side of that you can see like that kidneys are present in that now each kidney it is a goat kidney but if human kidney is there means it will be 10 cm long 5 to 5 cm in width you can see and thickness also will be 4 to 4 cm in that now each kidney if we see that the outer one part is this one is convex in shape outside inner side is concave in shape like this it is concave in shape the outer one is convex in shape the position of right kidney is bit lower and that left is bit upper now now here we can see the fissure or the groove which is there this one is called as that groove or fissure this part here this from groove and fissure one pair of here you can see one renal artery and one renal vein is arising from this part here also you can find it this a small tube a small hollow tube you can see here this is that your renal artery you can see the slight blood is also oozing out from this this one so this is renal artery and here you can see that renal vein is also there in that here we can find it so from that fissure part one artery renal artery and renal vein both are taking its entry a renal artery artery brings oxygenated blood blood to that and renal vein takes deoxygenated blood from here in that so let us have a look in that internal structure we need to take a sharp blade to cut it longitudinally this structure now i am going to cut it this longitudinally this one so we need to cut it in such a way that ls of kidney we need to see that and 
Now I am going to show you that LS of this kidney. Now you can have a look internally when we cut this internally when we are cutting it you can see is this kidney which is like this and we can see a membranous sheath on this so all our internal organs are also lined with fine membranous layer all that so it is also you can find it here in kidney this outer white color a membranous layer is there now let us have a look in internally if you cut it i have cut it in such a way it is half is tilted this side you can see that here this outer portion of the kidney which is there this outer portion which is little bit light in color you can find it this is that your cortex region the outer part is that cortex the outer part is that this is that cortex and the inner bit dark color you are seeing this this is medulla this purple color which is looking like a petal shape one one structures here you can see in this this each structures these we call it as calyces this one here each structures these are the you can find it till seven they are present here till that end these are calyces each one if you see here it is more clear that calyces here you can find it this one you can see this like a one petal petal form each one you can see separately here here it is bit inside i need to cut it so you can see each segments how it is i'm going to cut it each and every here sections this will shows that calyces for you which are you can see here each one this calyces this is that your medullary part which is dark in color in that now internally when we will see here where you can find it if we detach this section half and half we can see the opening of arteries and veins in this if i will pierce it a needle from the this way we can see that where it will take its entry this is the one tubule which i am going to pierce from here so we can see that other end opening will be can be seen here you can see this openings will be here in that if we pierce it from here you can see here that openings of this this is the one vein and this is the one artery this is that one arteries opening is there this a hole here which is shows that so we in vps it here from that we can see it from that other end it will come out so this outer membrane this is remove we can remove it and we can see this structure here you can find it here this openings of that artery and here this is that opening for that ureter that ureter is that tube that big hollow tube which arises and here it connects ureter down they will open that two ureters come and join into that your urinary bladder that bladder here it is ureter is open inside the inside there it is joined this white portion is called it as your pelvis this pelvis region the pelvis is connected to that ureter down this portion so each pelvis internally if we will see that they are joining to the tubes which are your collecting ducts collecting ducts are internally is here you can see this one which are covered here each one your that's your ureter which is connected to pelvis from that here you can see there is a continuity in this this is your that collecting ducts which are there they will bring this one till here so each portion is looking like a flower petal form this structures are that 
you can find this calyx here very clearly this one if we detach it so we can see that nearly there are seven here and this is that which is connecting to that duct and approximately in each each kidney cells which are there fine hairy like structures which are there in that the cup shaped structures you can find it towards this and nearly each living cell in this which is there that is nearly that more than 1 million 1 million we have that nephrons 1 million nephrons more than 1 million nephrons together they will make one side of our one kidney each kidney contains more than 1 1.3 to 1.8 8 million microscopic and thin tubules are there which are the functional unit for that these are that your they are going to make it that your unit of this one so I am going to slicing this completely to see that the entire part here as a two different sections so you can see the duct also very clearly in this here you can see this one which is the ducts these are that ducts are present here this is the outer membranous sheath which we have removed it now and you can see this duct here which is that ureter both sides ureters are present ureter is there and this will be this ureters will collect that urine concentrated form so each unit here which is there this is called as your nephron if we will see under the microscope we can see the more detailed structure of that nephron so these nephrons will collect all together in the collecting ducts collecting ducts will be carrying this to that a common passage for which is temporarily urine stored that is pelvis pelvis through that that urine is collected through the ureter ureter to that urinary bladder till that so this is our that one dissection of the kidney and we have taken that goat kidney here very clearly you can see the pyramid type shapes here in that which is pyramidal shapes is there in the medulla and these are the calyx which is like a, each one is looking like a petal shape this one and this is that one kidney structure